Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppins Cracking It's Steve. I'll tell you this vid by Peepin' T. It's titled, Krishan responds to Natalie about being on Baddie. So apparently Natalie is saying that Krishan begged her to be on Baddie or something like that. I just reacted to a full episode <laughs> of Baddies on my Patreon. It is up right now, okay? I had to react to that episode where Krishan accused Tzatziki of, uh, you know, being inappropriate with her when they were children. I wanted to, you know, get the full context. So I reacted to the full 45 minutes uh, <laughs> video up right now. If you're interested in watching, link down below if you want to hear my thoughts about all the ratchetry of that show child. Uh, but yeah, let, let's get the tea and see uh, what, what Krishan has to say about what Natalie said. Let's watch. Hey, so I'm back and before the video starts, we appreciate it when you interact. So please like, subscribe. So it's five o'clock, baddies is about to come out. When? I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm just waiting. I said, hey, let's do a video. I can't wait. I heard we getting roly and diamond fight tonight. I don't know how true that is, but I heard that. Um, the Kashana and Tzatziki talk, hopefully it's not the full episode. Yeah. Also, now that... It was a Daddy chunk of it. It was a good, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> They were talking for a long time about that that situation before she stormed off and started crying. Child, it was a lot. Don't, don't man, I cannot fucking wait to see what's going to happen with these baddies going wild. I'm excited for the show, too, but I feel Why like you need to make baddies going wild like Bad Girls Club. You know, one house, Where only one the... house, no traveling across the fucking region. Okay, she's showing her teeth. Um, Look, people send me stuff to react to all the time. I don't always... <laughs> You know, check thoroughly as I should. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I go based on the title, and I'm like, all right, I'll watch it. But whatever. What about Here we twelve are. girls? Uh, confessionals need to be in the house, and they should be able to do confessionals. She's providing receipts, though. I I think the camera should be rolling damn near twenty four seven. Yeah, it's going to take longer to edit, but it's like, okay, we don't need a two week turnover period for that. I really do feel like that is going wild. Should really be in the same format as Bad Girls Club. No host. We don't need none of that. Just put them in a house. Do some activities. Get them two cars. You know how Bad Girls Club used to have like two cars that they could they go anywhere? They, the they need, come yeah. on bro. I, I want that. I need that. So the Baddies Midwest is coming out and they put like a little uh, clip from today's episode out yesterday. And in the clip, Natalie's like, Krishan reached out to Zeus Network and said, hey, I want to be on the show. So her word is, she's like, this is definitely what happened. Krishan reached out to us. Said, I'm in Oklahoma. I want to make some money. I can't go nowhere else. I just seen y'all did the auditions. Uh, you know, shit like that. And when Kishara got out, she definitely started reaching out. This is my situation right now. I'm in Oklahoma. I can't move around. I want to come back. I want to make some money. If there's anything or any way I can fit in, please keep me, you know, in mind. Apparently, people did not like what Natalie said. I don't know. They don't like what she said or it was how she but said. But Krishan said that she got her own show coming out, God's Plan or something like that. That's what she said on the episode. I, I guess they feel like um she's trying to say Krishan is like begging to come back. Oh. I thought this was so like Natalie, past tense, not recent. So one of the fans um, under the comments, in her comment was, I am done, it's my job. But she still asked to make a cameo, period. Basically saying they did not ask for Krishan, Krishan came to them. Now someone said, why Natalie lying? Like we didn't see when they posted the clip originally, and Krishan said she wasn't on it. Y'all know that girl that called y'all, I'm hollering. Natalie said, um, she did. And she only said that because the Tulsa DA and all the people in the court down there was trying to say she couldn't travel, but we was coming to her. Oh. So, Krishan, she posted her own PCs. You know, she's like, girl, that didn't happen. Y'all want to meet. I okay, so apparently it's Lemmy, L, and then Krishan. Apparently, Krishan no L, Lemmy no L, and he went through L to get to Krishan again. I don't think she's going to read this. It says, nobody begged. They reached out to me. I gave a pricey rate, including my own show. Then y'all pulled up. Call me as soon as you get off. Girl, let me keep calling and texting. I told him I can connect him in. Uh. He said, hey, L, it's Lem. Are you in touch or communication with Krishan? Let me know if you can connect us. The L lady texted Krishan. She was like, call me as soon as you get off the phone. And then she said, girl, let me keep calling and texting. I told him I could connect him and blank. Uh, he talking about, can you just give me her number? And I said, no, nah, I'll give her yours. And if she, well, if, if she wants to talk directly, then she will call. Basically, it's Krishan proof of Lenny is the one that reached out to her. Krishan said, no one begged. They reached out to me. I gave a pricey rate, including my own show. Then y'all pulled up. So no, Natalie. It don't look like she came to y'all. It don't look like that. Don't look like that. <laughs> now, Lenny could have reached out to Krishan and then went to Natalie and said, yeah, Krishan reached out. She want to work. That definitely could have happened. And then, let's be honest. Money-wise or view-wise, Zeus knew what they was doing. He, they knew Krishan was going to bring views, especially with the big with the Siki. So, like, owner of Zeus-wise, the, the move was smart as hell. <laughs> now, family-wise, 
this is it's not gonna help nothing. Why do we got an iPad? Like and also, I hope uh, Tinker and Rody, I hope they got some bonuses on their check for getting shot at. Then we have Jocelyn. Apparently, yeah, Jocelyn right. is sober. <laughs> talk about it uh, but not on the show I think she's referring to when she got on was that Instagram live I reacted to videos about it details but now that you're more than likely never going to not see her lie. again it's back to the shit talking as in before the reunion and she like she want to fight Biggie on the Antisiki and it's like no one gives a fuck at all we're going Wait. to a loop on the Antisiki mm. and it's like no one gives a fuck not at all we're on to a new season sister. in about 30 minutes. We don't give a fuck about Baddies Caribbean no more. We don't. You had multiple chances to fight all three and you didn't. Who fault is that? That's no one fault but yours. Ana jumped you and you didn't fight her in the house at the time. Tasiki told you back up. Are you we in the up. hospital? That's two. T you could have fought Ana. You could have fought Tasiki. You didn't. You could have fought Biggie because she snuck Nunu. And you didn't. Then y'all get to the reunion, right? And... Kiva said Nunu was supposed to fight Anna for her and she was supposed to fight Vicky for Nunu. And it's like, if you think about it, it's fighting Anna for you. I don't really think so. Because Nunu had her own personal reasons to fight Vicky and Anna. Anna was talking about her kid and her baby daddy and shit like that. And Vicky hit her. It's not going to fight. You're like, she had her own reasons to fight. And then at the reunion, you were supposed to fight Vicky for Nunu and you didn't. You said you wasn't gonna just hit her for like you like what? She had your friend, so you had like what? and then to see you again, she asked you, did you wanna fight? You I said love I love you. you. You said back up. You told her back up and you don't want back it up. I Therefore we don't give a fuck. She put her stuff down, walked back up to you, said, Do you wanna fight? You did not wanna fight. Your friend knew you was gonna lose that fight. She even said I take the thing. She knew you wasn't gonna win that. And you didn't you said no, but then you still didn't fight her. Now, who responded? It was Anna that responded. She was like, keep a loser herself. She smoked black in my house. <laughs> she, she, she was like, you did not want to fight Tzatziki, but now you want to have talking shit about Tzatziki. And basically, Anna was just talking her shit back. Um, here goes that lie. Smoking black in my house now. Kiva's losing herself. Like, she's literally losing herself. She, she came to baddies and lost herself even more because she was already lost. She looks so much better with her hair like this because the the wigs that I saw her in in this episode I just reacted to, child, mess, hot mess. So please keep your hair like this. That old ass bitch, did y'all even see when she showed up to, in the, to them auditions? I don't know what the fuck Kiba was wearing. She like a big ass fucking highlighter. Respectfully. How is that respectful? That bitch losing herself. She's pop, she popped too much shit. Like she's really like... Y'all say I'm a, a, a internet bitch. That's an internet. That bitch popped so much shit. There's a break still in my head. That popped so much shit. It definitely is. And, and don't got nothing going for herself. She did not want that static with Tifa. But she on live talking about Tifa. Like, and that bitch can't even, and that bitch not making no money talking about us. Like, that bitch should be promoting her business. Like, I feel bad. Like, Jenny, I feel bad for old bitches because, like, <laughs> a bitch like that is, like, she mad, she lost it. Like, it don't matter what age you are. You could be, you could get famous at 33, 35. It'd be like, it doesn't matter what age you get lit. It's about if you got it or not. And she don't got it. She's at that time span. I don't even know if Kiva got kids. And if she don't, she never going to have them because ain't no nigga give her enough. 
She old now. Don't nobody want no baby at 35? Like, please. Like, no shame. Like, she, like, she, she got to figure something out. Like, what well, she said she fast. Because this bitch talking about other people. Well, this that bitch like don't this. got not, nothing going on for herself. This ain't even about money. I mean, just nothing. Nothing. Like, what? Like I said, when I joined the show, I wasn't rich as fuck. I wasn't none of that. I was a songwriter. I live in LA. I was making coin. I was literally making like. So you claiming you rich as fuck now? I wasn't rich. Well, Kelly's expensive. But I didn't look poor. This bitch is as crummy as fuck. Like they, they still look poor. Like I gave, I gave bad bitch. I was looking the part, but was I? No, I was broke. But this bitch, you look crummy. You don't even give the. Is AK a month considered broke? First sight, glance. Is that, bitch, is that bad? no fucking shade. Like you don't need no money to be a badass bitch. Is that poverty? Fuck is you talking okay. about? I'm just saying you're not one. Specifically, not one. If you don't look like a bad bitch without money, then you're not. You're just not one. I think it okay? is. Okay, it's just not happening. I'm not hating on mothers at 35. I'm talking about keeping. <laughs> Stop personalizing this shit. Stop making this shit about y'all asses. Now, if the shoe fit, then fucking work. Like, bitch, please. You do not, like, what? You don't need money to be no badass bitch. Like, what is y'all uh, talking about? No. I just feel like this bitch keep, keep getting online talking about us. Under 75 like, like said, K's. Is, these bitches is we are the lifeline. If she said 8K, that's like... We are the sponsors. Like, are you talking about this bitch, but you did not want to fire her. That's not good. You probably okay, won't ever fire. I'm pretty sure none of us will fire, especially not you. So, yeah, but. Hey, um, that's. I feel like this video was so fucking boring. I don't know. Well, hey, the yeah, she, she said a whole lot of nothing. Hopefully, the videos get a little interesting around here. Okay, now, if you found this video, well, hey, I just said it was boring. Listen, I was entertained by all of these faces, okay? All of the looks kept me very entertained, <laughs> and some of them were, were hilarious. So I'm like, wait, I, I need to make an emoji for myself because I, I, I was inspired. Um, but yeah, chick said a whole bunch of nothing. Like, they just be yapping and just arguing about the stupidest shit. Even the things they were arguing about on this episode I just watched, I'm just like, what? I mean, I already talked about it, gave my thoughts on it, the particular arguments. But it's like... Y'all are so stupid. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of bird brain activity taking place. But whatever, child. This is baddies, I guess. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!